we're going to learn about animals. All kinds of them. <gasps> rabbits! Rabbits are the short-sighted sluts of the animal kingdom. This mother rabbit had big dreams. She was going to move to the city and become a journalist. She was going to write a shocking expose from the carrot's point of view and call it Orange Holocaust. But it didn't happen because she's got another mouth to feed again. Kind of sad. <gasps> but it's not always about mating. Sometimes it's just about watching. These two guys have seen Porky's like a hundred times. And so now they're spying on all the female rabbits that are jumping over. <gasps> what delightful perverts. <gasps> birds. You know what? These two birds are having an affair. But I hate to say it, it's probably not going to last. Not for very long. This penguin and this great blue heron have met before, but they don't remember where or when, so it's kind of awkward. Was it at Julie's birthday party, the penguin thinks to himself, and he hopes not, because that's the party where he got really drunk and pissed all over a finch, and then he told a room full of people that he was moving to Mexico City to learn how to shoot guns and work on his novel. The great blue heron thinks to himself, Jesus, I really hope it's not that crappy penguin that thinks he's Hunter S. Thompson. That guy was a total jerk. But let's look at another bird. A really funny bird. Let's look at the ostrich. I don't really know what to say about the ostrich, quite frankly. It's useless. It doesn't even fly. Uh, well, what can an ostrich really do? It runs fast and it lays huge eggs. Well, you know what? So does Carl Lewis. And Carl Lewis doesn't leave his huge eggs all over the place. Carl Lewis picks up after himself because he is a little something called class. Let's look at something a little scarier, though. Animal murderers! It's true, some of them are. They have poor impulse control. This raccoon is killing this frog. You know why? He borrowed a substantial sum of money and had no intention of paying it back. Plus, he told everyone that raccoons aren't nocturnal, they're just lazy. And raccoons do not put up with that kind of shit. So now that frog is learning a valuable lesson. <gasps> this bear is killing this salmon. And you know what? It was in a fit of jealous rage. She told him she was only seeing him, but then he caught her spawning all over town. And then he went to confront her, and things just got weird, and it all happened so fast. And now he's just hoping he can hide her body in the river and go back to his cave. And maybe eat some honey and just wake up from this horrible, horrible nightmare. But he's never going to. He killed the one he loves most. They have low self-esteem. That's the sad part. <gasps> monkeys! Oh, those crazy monkeys! This little guy has a frisbee, and he's going to wear it as a hat. Maybe he's going to do a little dance for you, too. Keep you distracted. Keep you watching him. Are you watching the dancing monkey? He's got a toy ukulele, too. He's maybe going to do a little song and dance for you. He's got a sailor costume, too, that he's going to wear. And dance and dance around. He's also got a cowboy getup, if you like those kind of cowboy songs. But you're going to be busy watching him. Too busy to see his rest of his friends. They swing down from the trees. They swoop in. They rip off your arms and play drums. And why, you scream, as they run away with your arms to play percussion? Because monkeys are evil. Mail fraud, identity theft, kidnappings. It's all because of them. You can thank them for that kind of crappy nonsense. Gorillas aren't exempt either. This gorilla, right here, she was taught how to sign by her owner. Maybe because her owner's lonely. Maybe because her owner had a little too much free time on her hands. But she taught her how to sign. But all this gorilla signs to her is, Give me another kitten. I'm starving. You can't be friends with them. Oh, you can't. They'll only break your heart and eat all your cats. Gorillas. So what have we learned? Well, rabbits have a lot of big dreams that don't come true. Birds have bad relationships and they don't handle their liquor. Never cross a bear or a raccoon for any reason. And never trust a monkey. Ah, but most importantly, we've learned that Carl Lewis is an egg-laying gentleman.